we'll need to tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, group. Let's see what's going on. Press to uh, do you press? <coughs> Pay a fine, sure. I can't believe that worked. No, oh, you said pay a fine. No, no, of course. 
course not. We need to save the, the galaxy. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quinn. What? A mass delusion, though, so promise. Sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Pass is nine. Rigel three. Seventy-five point two 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 percent of the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can you be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. I'm pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Still alive. Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. And you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. Officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for your sake. The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has rolled beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. The control of the Nova Force, the magical energy that powers Nova Core, it, it is not magical. But yes, then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people. Oh, I can skip this! I just realized that. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. You're still leaving? We did we not. not make this decision without considering all of the oddity. What it not I'm for me. It is a big classic noble core. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Mm. 
All right, I had, I gotta pay the fine. All right, let's get this over. All right, confirm payment. Mm -hmm. All the universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on the Delta Four fine. Look, dude. All right, uh, platinum trophy for that. The nice. Is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. All right, so this will be this will make difference in the end end of the game. <clears throat> Is this where Drax goes insane and we go see Mantis? Because we are about to head to Chapter Ten, and I think that's where Chapter Ten happens. Alright, skip. Yeah, this is the mine thing that I got. All right. Really? How did you? Oh, girl. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> what? What the? F That's how you got in. Um, oh, I don't remember that. And Alright, do I have to like wait here or something? Huh. There we go. Yeah, this is where you fall asleep and Drax when in goes insane. <coughs> mm. Um Hello? Oh, there we go. Alright, that was weird. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Look at you. Me. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Okay, this isn't where Drax goes insane. Fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now. Why are we running from the bad guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> yeah, we're not. We're not. Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we flunk? There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodents make decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but...
How is Gamora and Drax slower than than like than than Star Lord? All right, this is where Jackson. Um, okay, yeah. Your eyes not glowing. Oh wait, now it's glowing. All right, all right, chapter ten. Skip that. Drax, I don't. Um, hold on. There's uh, no sound coming from. Not exactly. But, but, but not. I. It all. Yes. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, respect yourselves. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? These are our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. I but take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. I wouldn't want to. You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's... That's great. I'll, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. 